All right, guys, we got a we got a Lego set. We got, we got something here from uh, Monthly Knife Club. I'm so curious as to what that could be. So let's uh, Kubi it up and let's Monthly Knife Club it up and see exactly what this is. It says Gerber. Gerber Affinity Copper PE. I'm spacing on what the Gerber Affinity is right now. I don't know, but this is the starter name brand knife. The Affinity Copper Folding Knife. Interesting. Let me show you the specs right up front on this card. There's noises from outside. I have the window open. I apologize to you. But so this is the starter name brand knife, which is I, I cannot predict what comes in a bag, what comes in a box. Well, I actually, so this wasn't a box. I thought this was a box in the bag, but it is a box in the bag, but not the box in a bag. Ignore me. I'm old and stupid. Okay, so greetings once again. Uh, the Affinity Copper Addiction from Gerber Gear. Okay. It says built with double Windsors and three pieces in mind. So if you don't know, the double Windsor is a knot with a tie. I wonder if I could still tie a tie. It's been so long since I had to do that. I'm going to try later in three piece suits. So this should be looking like a gentleman carry. I guess this would this would be gentlemanly carry -y, carry -y. Um, but we we saw the uh, the thing, um, the specs. Well, I thought I was gonna open it. Nice. I'm just curious. It comes in such a big. Fucking really, Gerber. It this box for this thing. And so this is what was rattling around. But no, like, and this is, I'm not, this is not a, okay, so let's be clear. I'm not like Monthly Knife Club, you suckered us with a big box. No, this is Gerber. What the, what the fuck is with this packaging for this knife? For this knife. I'm not even talking about whether the knife is nice or not. I'm like, this could have been the packaging for this knife. All right. So, oh good, it's zip tied in. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is up with this. Um, I wanna be careful here not to scratch anything. So let's, uh... okay. Um, I forgot to mention that cost of the subscription here, $25, the total value, 51, 60 to 85. So what Monthly Knife Club, I know most of you know this already, but I gotta say it for anybody this might be their first video. So what Monthly Knife Club does is they don't just list you an MSRP, they actually look online. And this is the lowest they can find it for, this is the most. There is a case where you might find it on sale somewhere or somebody is just violating MAP, the minimal allowable pricing, in which case, you know, if uh, Gerber finds out, they could get in trouble and lose their distributing rights, but anyway. Um, so if you are a subscriber to the starter name brand this month, you did pretty good. You basically got a knife worth twice the subscription price. This thing has some weight to it. Um, I have So uh, going back to when I said I'm spacing what the Gerber Affinity is, I've never seen the Gerber Affinity before. Um, I, I have never, but it looks very nice. I like it. Um, it's got a little age look intentionally, of course, little... Uh, little patina on those scales. So here's a question I'm curious, and you guys can throw it in the comments. Do you like you, like if you get a copper uh, knife, do you like it to look brand new, uh, shiny and age naturally, or do you like it to come with a little bit of, of pre-done worn and patina on it? What are your choices? Or if you do get it, here's another kind of thing to throw in. If you get a copper scale and it is all like brand new machined, do you, uh, do you pre-patina it? Do you do anything? Um, or do you leave it fresh? I'm curious, because I go, I, I wander back and forth on that. Uh, my first thought seeing this one is, um, I, I might I might just polish this one up and then let it re-age. Now I can, I can tell on this, there's kind of a lacquer sort of finish over the, the patina that they put there. I don't know if that's just for shipping or if they do that to protect the work they did, because this has a nice pre-worn finish which a lot of people like on their copper and their brass scales. Um, I I kind of 
again, sometimes I like it to have that worn life look. Sometimes I like to polish it and get it looking really nice and let it wear naturally with, with me and my use. You can see that the uh, over travel here, also a nice piece of milled brass, uh, sorry, copper, we're talking about both. Um, you have no choice as for your clip. Wow, that's a tough clip. Not too tough, but that's a tough clip. You can see the bronze washers inside there. It's a very long skinny blade. You know what, it's got, I see this in I think ancient Egypt for some reason. I, 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 I don't know, but, and that's, I'm not saying that good or bad. It also looks like, it looks like, and I could be wrong, that you can adjust the position of your thumb stud, which is awesome. Our lock is a little sticky, but it looks like the way it's built in, you can, you can adjust where your thumb stud sits along that track, which actually is very cool. Oh, you know what this also does? It prevents your stupid big fat finger from pushing on that lock and affecting your, your deployment of the blade brilliant but that's great um, look wow sticky lock though you hear that let's let's here I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put this right next to the microphone so you can hear it you hear that unlocking that's not good maybe that'll break in um, but that's just a basic steel um, lock I like the weight on it it's got a heavy weight and it is a long skinny knife um, i don't know if this is does they say is it a pvd coating or is it just paint um, i don't know it doesn't say it just says d2 it is it's it's a it's a nice looking just slender blade though bevels look the hair off but that's okay as long as it does this yeah there's you know I, I mean it's aesthetically it looks good it's very slim if this was just all in black or like bare metal I might say it's gas station looking um, but they did a real good job with the copper Yeah, you got it. So it needs a little bit of breaking in, and it probably would, wouldn't would hurt to give it. I have KPL around here somewhere. To where did my KPL go? I don't know. Um, but a couple drops of KPL would probably help it out a lot. Man, that lock is super sticky, though. And I don't, I don't know what's up with that. But I think that, yeah, if you uh, gave it some KPL, now I'm likely to actually take it apart. You can you can polish up your bronze phosphor washers real nice. I think that with a little bit of work, this could be a real kind of really uh, souped up, what's the word? I don't want to use hot rod as a word, but like you can really make this deployment just pop, just fire. Um, this lock, I'm not sure what we do with it. Uh, if you take a look, it's... I don't have a good light right there, but it's almost at 100% lock up, like right out of the box. I, by design, maybe, but ugh. that's that's not cool. That also could break in with the knife a little bit, but it's a very, I mean, it's a nice looking knife. And there are other ways like graphite powder and, and things like that too. Put a little coating there to help that lock stick, but you shouldn't have to. You know what I mean? It shouldn't shouldn't stick like that. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, nice knife, nice knife, uh, and I think that this is a pretty good, um, you know, for, in the starter name brand. This is a this is a pretty good knife. This is something I might even you know I would carry. Yeah, it definitely needs a little bit of oil though as we go. Um, obviously being kind of a, a lower end knife, it's not gonna have the uh, engineering and the... Are those washers moving around? Yeah, 
They are. So yeah, it needs. It, I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to uh, clean the washers, maybe polish them, definitely oil it up, and see how it goes. But it's it's a it's a nice looking knife. What do you guys think? So I always put a link to Monthly Knife Club because I think that they offer a lot of really good boxes, subscriptions, whatnot. So you can check them out. I think this is a the starter this month. That's pretty good. Pretty damn good. Anyway, love to hear what you guys think, especially the question of, you know, copper, clean or patinaed. What's your call, guys? Anyway, remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome, and I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon. Here.